On a low bed opposite the fire lies a man. His hair is ragged, mingling with his whiskers and his beard. Through the general sickliness and faintness and the odour of stale tobacco, there hangs the bitter, vapid taste of opium. And like a thankless monster, he ran away in the no. night, never to be seen or heard of till I set eyes on him just now. And, and my young lady caught his illness and lost her beautiful looks. No, 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 sorry, that's not what I meant it to mean. I just meant that, you know, younger man. You, you expect them to look younger? I felt like an astronaut or a kind of time explorer, maybe. Some scout or something, sent on ahead, down to Earth, to see what the fuck all the fuss was about, you know? Uh, I still remember that. I don't know if your dad's going to be here in the morning. Who knows, eh? What I do know is that he sent me the bestest present in the world for you to open. But that you weren't to get it unless you're in bed by twelve. Now go on. Would you mind passing me that reel of cotton on the mantelpiece, just by your ear? Thank you so much. Seth passed it mechanically and continued. They eat him. Same as an end spider eats a cark spider. That's what women do, if a man lets them. Indeed, commented Flora. I, but I said if a man lets them. Now I, I don't let no women eat me. I eat them instead. Flora thought an appreciative silence would be the best policy to pursue at this point. <laughs> 